Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Next set that came out today. All the cards that are dropping today in NBA 2K23, my team, which ones are worth picking up and which ones are not. Um, and just letting you all know what I think of this drop. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 12,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's just start from the top. Why not? Paulo Boncaro, 6'10 with a 7 foot wingspan, in game card, power forward, small forward, hot spots from everywhere, every single stat on Hall of or every single stat on 99, every single badge on Hall of Fame. That's an in game card. Not only that, he's a really a clone of Kevin Durant. Kevin Porter Jr. base, Sadiq Bay upper on very quick, the exact same release as KD. Trey Fade, the best fade in the game. MJ Dribble style, Francis size of Trey Escape, the little behind the backs, so the best stays in the game, and the quick drops off one and every single other glitchy dunk package in the game. So he is looking like the best. I mean, yeah, he's looking like the best, well, one of the best small forwards in the game. The only thing that's going to make him not that great, in all honesty, is the fact that he's 6'10". And honestly, that's going to matter. I'm sorry. But it is. Uh, the fact that he's only 6'10 is going to make him probably not as good as guys like Bobo and Chet Holmgren, and definitely not as good as this guy, Victor Wembanyama. This is the best card in the history of my team. 7'5 with an 8-foot wingspan. Uh, hot spots from everywhere, 55 Hall of Fame badges, all 99 stats across the board. Doesn't not missing any important Hall of Fame badges, and then stat, bat, his animations are insane as well. Kyle Kuzma base, Tim Duncan up around very quick is going to be one of the best releases in the game. Uh, Trey Fade, Francis size up, Trey Escape a little behind the back, and quick drops off one. Seven for five at the three with these animations with quick drops with front clutches with an incredible release with all perfect stats and badges this is the best card in the history of my team that is not an exaggeration i do not think there has ever been a card this good in the game the only card that this card compares to is the bull bull from 2k21 and that was a seven foot three sorry seven foot two small forward who did not have quite perfect sigs and not only that was not he just wasn't as as elite as this card and that bull bull was insane no doubt about it invincible bull bull at the three was a ridiculous card but he was three inches shorter than this Wimby and did not have as good animations as this Wimby does his release was not as good I and mean, he just wasn't as good if this card is better than taco and yao because taco and yao counter each other there is no counter to this woman yama card and there's not going to be a counter to this woman yama card unless they put yao or taco or Benute or one of those guys at the three and give them an invincible caliber card this is the best small forward in my team the best card in my team and the best card ever in my team he's that good if he's in an option pack I will be buying him. That's all I'll say. Kate Cunningham, 6'8 with a 7 1 wingspan, invincible card as well, near perfect stats and badges. Card is really good. D Mitch size up, or sorry, D Mitch release, Oscar up around very quick. So actually a pretty good change release as well. Normal leaner, uh, with Lowry size up, Trey Escape, Lillard behind the back, and quick drops in front clutch. It's really solid card. Very, very good, invincible. Kate is going to be one of the top five point guards in the game, realistically. To be completely honest, it's a really, really good card for sure. Evan Mobley, 7 foot power forward, 99 speed and excel, 98 shot three. Stats are exceptional badges are also exceptional he's an elite defender i know he's got a very good player but he moves well as well it's trace size of wall a little behind the back quick drops and front clutches again trez harold base with sadiq bay upper on very quick this is a really good release and trey fade for power forward this is a really good card but this card is going to be a top five power forward in the game only power forwards that are going to be better than him are uh realistically minute um i guess wimby at the four and then taco maybe but shaq and kp like three or four power forwards better than him and that's it this is a really good card evan mobley if he's cheap is actually gonna be very very valuable good card in my team six ten of the seven two wingspan hot spots from everywhere on jabari smith again stats and badges are all near perfect as an invincible card and then badge animations wise jt thor base john and mitchell upper on quick why is it on quick i don't know to be completely honest having a release on quick at this point here is kind of troll but that's a good release it's even on quick it's still gonna be a pretty good card steph size up steph escape a little behind the back quick drops off one in front clutches again really really good card i just don't know why his release is on quick but he looks like he's going to be a very very solid small forward option at 610 good card not insane at small forward at this point though 66 six, six down expand is a little small for j-dub um but i mean he does look like a good card shooting our position again near perfect stats or basically perfect stats and badges as an invincible but 
Karis Levert base, Tony Kuko jumper on very quick. This is a good release. I mean, it's a very, very solid release. Trey Fade, uh, Kobe Styles, a ball escape, a little behind the back, quick drops off one. Really, really good card for sure. I mean, he's going to be a very, very good option at the shooting guard position. I just think he's a little undersized at only six foot six. That does matter. And I mean, release is good. Overall, good card. Just a little bit undersized at the throw two. Probably not a card that I'd recommend buying unless you're a Thunder fan. Walker Kessler, 97 speed in Excel. Again, your invincible stats are bad. There's no handles for days. You're going to want to add that on him. But Chris Bosch base, John Wall up around quick. Again, this is a really good release, but put it on very quick. I don't know if that'll get changed. I hope it does. He's got quick drops and the standing dunks under the basket. Uh, Dimitri sides up wall escape, a little bit behind the back, normal layer. Good card. Not sure why his release is on quick, though. Everything else is looking really, really nice on him as well, though. Now, regular Wimby, 7'5 with an 8-foot wingspan at the power forward center position. This card is not as good as I was hoping it would be. 72 speed in Excel, 86 shot 3, 85 driving dunk, 80, 80 interior, 95 perimeter, 80 steel. I mean, he's not terrible, but he's kind of slow. I'm, I'm like, even even if you put a shoe and a coach on him, say you have like a really, like, well, even say you have one of the best coaches on him. You have, um, I don't know, pace and space, Greg Popovich. That leaves him 82 speed. You put a shoe on that, that's an 86, and then if you, um, I guess... I don't know, maybe an end game boost to boost up a little bit more on some of these other stats, but I don't know, man. He's kind of missing some things. Like he needs handles for days. He's gonna need half quick for step and clamp break if you can add that on him. Putting half rebound chase on brick wall will help. Uh half bully will help as well. And then um Vucevic based him knocking up around very quick. It's not that incredible release. Still has Trey Fade, which is really good. Still has decent six, but not as good. Demar size of Trey sorry, yeah, Demar size of Kobe escape and a little behind the back still. But Demar and Kobe is nothing compared to Francis and Trey. And then he's much slower. He still has quick drops and front clutches, which is good. And but the release is worse and his six are worse. He's still not going to be a bad card I mean, he's going to be a very good card still this is a taco level better than taco level card like it's a really really good card but i don't know i, I think he's a little bit limited compared to this he's, he's not nearly as good as the invincible i'll say that the invincible is the best card in the history of my team this card's not bad but he's nothing like the invincible they're brandon miller um we're gonna start through speeding through some of these cards because i think some of these become a little bit less desirable as we progress but six foot nine with seven wingspan at the shooting guard position gives him great size hot spots for everywhere 96 speed in excel 97 shot three 95 driving dunk uh for 40 hops he's got pretty much everything key it's looking like which is really really nice gonna be an elite level shooter seth base tray up around very quick tray fade francis size of tray escape to live behind the back quick jumps off one this is one of the best shooting guards in the game he's elite there's a lot of really good shooting guards in the game but this brandon miller card is up near the top of the list with guys like tim thomas Kawhi leonard tracy mcgrady he's a top three four five small forward the care shooting guard in the game really really good card case and wallace six fourth pg position would not probably recommend using him simply off of that but he's got every single defensive hop in the game mm. KPJ base, Kevin Love up around very quick, Trey Fade. This is the best 6'4 and under point guard in the game. Perfect SIGs, really elite release, and an absolutely incredible every single defensive badge and near perfect defensive stats. I mean, this is the best short PG in the game. I'll just say that. 6'4 and under, that is the best option right now in my team is Case and Wallace. Anthony Black, 6'7 with 6'11 wingspan, 96 speed in Excel, 93 shot, 3 at 95 driving dunk. This is uh, defensively really, really good. I like Anthony Black a lot. I think he's got a lot of potential to be a really good player. This is also a good card. A 6'7 PG who's athletic and a really good defender. Um, has a great release. Stockton base, Rudy Alphon, very quick. Normal leaner, Dero size of Trey Escape. Sorry, Curry Escape to live behind the back and quick drops. Card's going to be really good. Anthony Black is going to be a really, really nice option at the PG position. Very very good budget pg right there because he probably won't be super expensive cam whitmore is six seven um i i think he's a little overrated to be come on to be completely honest as a prospect probably not a guy i would draft top 10 but defensively he looks really good good finisher got catch and shoot limitless range agent three clamper comes for days quick first step applicable uh good release pj washington base tray up around very quick normal leaner francis size of tray escape a little behind the back quick jumps off one he's only six seven a shooting guard but he's got a really good release top tier sigs nice badges really good card i mean he's gonna be again one of the better budget cards in today's drop grady dick is a six eight shooting guard so he's got very good size badge wise is looking really really nice all the way around 93 speed in excel kcp base vents up around very quick is really good dg size up tray escape escape little bit behind the back quick drops and front clutches with trey fade the cards really good again him and cam whitmer both amazing budget shooting guard options jairus walker a 6'8 small forward is undersized good speed but release is good trey size up and escape little bit behind the back front clutches good card trey fade as well just a little undersized at 6'8 probably jason tatum level maybe a little bit better as a small forward option so a borderline top 10 small forward in the game probably not much more than
more than that though for Jairus Walker. Keontae George, 6'4 PG, just like um, he's not as good, honestly. I'm looking at this card, he's not as good as Kaysom Walls is as a 6'4 PG. Not a bad card, still one of the best short PGs in the game, but not amazing, I will say that. Uh, Amon Thompson and Azar Thompson. Amon is the better card, I think. Point guard, 6'7. He's got he's gonna be another great budget PG. Shooting bad is on amazing agent three catch and shooting limitless range, most corner specials, but he's got good enough shooting three ball stats i mean his badges are fine he's not gonna struggle shooting the ball whatsoever release dero size of dero's with curry upper trey fade francis size of curry escape a little behind the back quick jumps really really nice as well i think anthony black might be a little bit better but they're both really good budget point guards azar thompson six seven shooting guard again not the greatest shooter but a little bit better release is also probably a bit better uh normal leaner dero size of trey escape a little behind the back quick jumps off one card is actually looks like he's a little bit better on paper than his brother but he can't play point guard so he's a little bit less valuable at the shooting guard position considering we're also cam but or grady dick who both might be better options the limited reward is andre godala 66 pg i mean he's good he's got rubio base i don't know how good the rubio base is to be completely honest but i think it's decent on bill Walton anyway carmelo upper is a great upper he's got good six this is a really nice limited reward he is only 66 though so he's a little undersized but he's a very very solid limited reward top 10 point guard in the game not a top 10 not an incredible top tier card but definitely a very very solid option at the pg position and that is it for today's drop tony parker who's six foot two i don't care really about this card to be honest because he's six foot six two and tony parker's release is bad as well i know everything else is solid but no that tony parker card's not good but everything else about this drop is i mean it's a really really good drop there's a ton of elite budget cards the best card in my team history in Wimby. bunch of really good cards j-dub is a little bit disappointing to me as well as uh or it's not J Jadab's only he's just short but uh it's jabari smith and walker castle are the two with the quick release timing that kind of disappoints me because that takes away from how good those cards are a little bit and i wish this Wimby had a little bit better speed and a slightly better release to make him a little bit more comparable to the invincible but he's still a decent card but outside of that really really good drop and this Wimby card if you can get your hands on him is the best card in my team history he's gonna be the best small four in the game the best card in the game for the rest of the year card you got pretty much have to get in my team but with that being said that is gonna do it for this video hope y'all did enjoy this breakdown of all these cards if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon i appreciate y'all peace